man, I'll flip you, huh? See if those horses away? Bueno. Call it. Tails. Yeah, yeah, I never win anything, huh? Let me put a couple stakes on, too, will you? All right, Johnny. And then the bad man from Bodie rode into town on his black steed <laughs> with his two faithful companions. A little bitty short man named Waco and the notorious outlaw Vernon L. Richards. Now the three of them walked up the steps and through the swinging bar doors and walked directly to the bartender who was a little pink and white man who had <laughs> little rimless eyeglasses on and wanted to know if he was going to sell a chili bean. My friend, I'm afraid you're in the wrong place. I think the chili bean place is over there across the street. Two beers and a couple of beefsteaks, please. Oh, you hear that, boys? <laughs> a couple of beefsteaks. I guess our friend the chili bean here is going to eat for two people. Ain't that right? Si, senor. I rode in with a friend, Johnny Lancer from Moto Coil. The Lancer spread. Lancer spread. Oh, that's big stuff, ain't it? You know, I always wondered something about the Lancer spread. Tell me if it's true. They say that all they do out there is uh, chase down rabbits and then bay at the moon. Right? <laughs> Senor, you are drunk. Uh, excuse me? How was that? I didn't understand that. Drunk? I don't want any trouble. Oh, uh, what was that? Don't you speak American, boy? I couldn't understand what you said. Jang? Oh, look at there. Now, if I'm drunk, you know what that makes you, sonny boy? Huh? That makes you a sawed-off little Mexican with a gun that's way too big for him. Take 
Good to see you living again. Used it maybe a bucket of water on you. Find you last night lying at that cliff bottom. Big hole in your leg. Reasonable conclusion is you're either in trouble or you're awful careless. Listen, I'm sorry to hide you in the barn like this, but Mama can't abide me bringing in my hurt pets. Who? Who? Am I? Yeah. Lucretian or male. That's a classical name, Lucretia. Mama chose it because of... It's elegant. Uh, elegant, huh? You know where my horse is? Well, it's lost, I reckon. What happened to you? I rode in with a friend last night. In the town, they killed him. Just like that. Who? I gotta set things right. I wouldn't get up. <laughs> Told you not to get up. You ain't gonna be putting things right for a long time. Well, if you used to tell me what happened, well, my fiance, well, he ain't really my fiance, sort of my near fiance. Uh, he's an important man around here. Mr. Thomas Neville, maybe you heard about him. Yes, I heard him. Come on. Well, uh, maybe he could put things right for you. No, ma'am. Not in this world. Oh. No luck again, Pa. He swam it. Ah, oh, no. No, no, Mr. Neville. He was too bad hurt. No man could... He swam it and hid out while you fools were thrashing around up there. Well, then where do you reckon he went? Over Norm Meals? You know that old woman, if somebody came creeping around there in the nighttime... Jang, you and the others make another pass through there. If you find him, kill him. I, uh, I don't much favor that, Mr. Neville. Just up and shoot a man. If you find him, you kill him. <laughs> Chick, 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 Mama. Come on, chick, 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 Mama. Oh, Lucrece. Ah, uh, honey, I do wish you'd wear a dress. I declare, in them dungarees, you resemble a clothespin. Well, it's hard to slop hogs in a dress, Mama. You spend too much time with them little creatures. If your dear father was alive, you wouldn't be spending some... Mama, could I ask you something? Now, don't tell me you took in some other new creature. Well, it isn't exactly a critter. It's hurt. That's what you always tell me. Now, Lucrese, I purely won't have it. You turn it loose this instant. You know, it ain't exactly the kind that I can. I'm simply going to bang a pan at it. Mom, I tell you, you I simply am going to... Who is that? Lucrese, you get in the house, and you get on a dress. It's your attendant come to visit. Oh, go on. Go on. My, 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 my. Oh, it's a pleasure to see you, despite 
And the earliness of the hour and the somewhat inclement weather. I do think July is awful damp. Do you not think so? Uh, we come to see... Oh, you come to see your intended bride. Well, she's usually around here somewhere playing the harp or the organ. Or she's out in the kitchen fixing scones or shortbread. Oh, I declare, I never knew such a girl for cookery. She is in that kitchen night and day. Where is she? Oh, oh in the back. I vow those two young people are made for each other. However, Mr. Neville, as concerns the dowry, I'm still... Miss Normiel, you got a gun? I have a double barrel fowling piece that was presented to my late husband by a European gentleman. He was a duke. We're looking for a murderer. Well, I don't have one of those. He killed somebody? Mm-hmm. Well, how come that's trouble for you? Because we have to find him. Well, why can't the sheriff get him? Hmm? You didn't hear any noises around here last night, did you? No. No, I didn't. Are you absolutely sure, my darling? Yes, I am sure. Fair enough. I don't know, Mr. Neville. We haven't seen anybody around here, anywhere. I don't understand where... Well, that's I don't understand where you're looking for. Well, it does I know. You best stand back. Well, all right, Mr. Neville, surely, but I very much doubt it. Mr. Neville? You wouldn't be here. How you know that? I, I've been in here since this morning, taking care of my critters. Well, you could have dodged in since. Uh, no, I, I was here last week, grown up. Mr. Neville, did you see him kill that man? Tom? Uh, no, I was very nearby. Search that hay pile. Uh, no, wait a minute. Uh, I, I just worked that over just a moment since. See? There ain't room for a man to hide in there. Uh, uh, Mr. Neville, uh, would you kindly stay for tea? And, and, and Tom? No, thank you, ma'am. What? Uh, uh, some tea. No, thank you, Miss Normale. No tea. Well, I'll see you to the gate. The crease. I have no idea I did it. Now get up and get out. Go on. Uh, Mr. Neville, I dearly love to discuss our young people. You know, their marriage plans and the diary. Uh, some other time, maybe. But that's the only thing that's standing in their way, our personal circumstances. I told you, we'd accept the farm. But that's all we have. And I thought, considering Lucretia would be offering so much, domestic arts and all, that you'd be willing to settle... My son can have any woman he wants. When you're ready to talk business, Miss Normiel, fine. But they love each other. Oh, I expect they can stand it. Meanwhile, we're hunting for a man. Uh, if you uh, should find him, maybe we can work out something better for you. Oh, something better? Oh, well... Well, we surely did enjoy your little bit. I can't walk. You don't happen to have a horse, do you? We haven't got a riding horse. But I ain't keeping no murderer here. I didn't murder him. I told you that. Your fiance did it. Tom wouldn't. Maybe one of their hands did or something. 
They're going to mean gang. Never mind. He did it. Why else do you think his old man is so worried? You didn't see it. No, but somebody saw it. And I'm going to make sure he gets hung. We're engaged to be married. <laughs> I'm sorry for you. Listen, you take a bargain. I'll hide you out, and I'll get you well. And then you ride out of here. You just forget it and leave us alone. Well, old oh boy, my friend gets killed, and you're asking me to forget it. I could turn you over right now. I could just run back and get them. Go on and do it. You're that sure. Tom won't kill a man. He isn't like that. He's everything that any girl could ever want. Well, then he's got nothing to worry about, does he? Does he? I'll tell you, I'm gonna stick around here. I'm gonna stick around here somewhere, and I'm gonna make sure I get even with him. The only thing is, I'm gonna need your help. I got no reason to help you. That's right. You got no reason at all. What do you want me to do? Something trouble you, Sheriff? Sheriff. Lock the door and pull that shade. some advice. Advice? You get a horse and ride 500 miles. You listen to me. Tom Neville killed my friend in front of a half dozen witnesses and I find myself being charged with it. I'd like to know why. Oh, that's easy. The half dozen witnesses work for Neville. They swore that you did it. And what about you? I didn't see it happen. I've got nothing to do with it. What do you mean you got nothing to do with it? You put out a notice and reward for my neck and you got nothing to do with it? Those are Neville's notices, Neville's rewards. And it's Neville's money and, and it's his people and it's, it's his town. A man does the best he can. Ain't it enough? I ain't tried to take you. Back up against this post. Listen, you you wanted some advice. I'll give you some advice. Your one chance is to get away. And if Neville doesn't come after you, and you don't try anything against him, it'll, it'll all blow away. You'll see, it'll all blow away. A friend of mine was killed. Oh, well, he wasn't nothing but just a... Are you fixing just to leave me here? Supposing I holler for somebody. And I'll find you. Looking just as useless as you are. You better hold on to that.
figure you can chew your way to freedom in just about a half an hour. Child, I don't believe you've been altogether straight and above board with your mother. He ain't in the brush with Mr. Neville, unless he crawled off and died. Then all we can do is watch for buzzards. All right. And search out beyond Normales. Search Reber's flats. Mr. Neville, my bunch hardly been out of the saddle in two days. Neither is my son's. Yeah, but your son's got more reason. <laughs> all right, Mr. Neville. Oh, well, there you are, Mr. Neville. I was hoping to encounter you. Uh, I'm kind of busy right now, ma'am. I won't take a, a minute, hardly. Uh, Mr. Davis, yes, ma would you give me some of your nice, cool, delicious sarsaparilla? Yes, <laughs> well, now, I've been thinking about what you said. What I said. About talking business, about our two young people and their romantic plans. Miss Normiel, I'm very busy. Now, just what do you want? Well, it did concern itself with our last discussion about that reward for that murder of gentlemen. Thank you. You know where he is? Well, uh, let's say I suspicioned it. I have great hopes. I I've seen indications. What indications? Oh, uh... Uh, various indications, but I don't want to bore you with all that. The point is, Mr. Neville, if by some great stroke of good luck... Have you seen him? Oh, uh, no, no. No, no, no. But if by some great stroke of good luck... Miss Normiel, that reward money is my money. Now, it don't make much sense my paying to you so you can pay back to me so your daughter can get married. Now, does it? Oh, Mr. Neville, you did say that. That was yesterday. This is today. I will take the farm. That's all. Now, you have to excuse me. I have things to do. But we haven't even begun. Oh, there's no malice. Mr. 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 Uh, that fellow you was talking about, uh, uh, there's some folks that feel that maybe he didn't do it. Uh, that killing. And if he didn't do it... But he should have explained it to the people. Well, now, look. He just ain't nobody. I know they put it on the report that he was person unknown, but, but he ain't. He's, he's Johnny Lancer, Murdoch Lancer's son. Murdoch Lancer? Yes, ma'am. The man? You mean the one that owns all that land? Yes, ma'am. My, 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 my. Oh, 
Oh, uh, yes. Uh, would you kindly announce me to Mr. Murdoch Lancer? Well, yes, ma'am. Who may I say is calling? Well, I'm Mrs. Lorette. No. Uh, just tell him a lady visitor. A lady visitor? From a considerable distance. Well, how do you do, ma'am? I'm Murdoch Lancer. Oh, Mr. Lancer, how gauche of me. Though I must say, I wasn't expecting such a young and altogether handsome man. Uh, well, uh, 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 this is my uh, son, Scott. Oh! Oh, I declare, you're even a finer looking boy than your unfortunate brother. <laughs> unfortunate brother? Oh, well, not completely unfortunate. I mean, I know we can work things out. Work things out? Oh, oh. My goodness, here I've started negotiating even before we're properly acquainted. <laughs> oh, Mr. Lancer, you must feel I have no manners, whatever. <laughs> Won't you step inside? Oh, yes. I uh, thank you, sir. Yeah. I hope they ain't too hard. You made these? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I'm not too hungry anyway. I had a mountain cat that wouldn't eat once. He was just a little one. I found him all mauled up in a trap. I had to talk to him. You know, kind of gentle him down before he'd eat. So he just kind of lay there. And I talked to him and talked to him. After a while, I got to saying things to him I never said to anybody. Yes? Does that sound dumb? No, that's not dumb. I had a pinto one time I used to talk to. A long time ago, you know, and I was drifting around from town to town. And I'd be riding along late at night somewhere, and I'd get to rambling on and on. And, oh, wow, about so many things, you know. <laughs> do you still do that? No. I don't have too much anymore. I'm not alone. I mean, I got a family and everything, you know? Got a brother. Oh. You bigger off that leg. No, it feels pretty good. No, it ain't never gonna heal if, if you don't get off of it. Mom would be back in the morning and she could make you something really good to eat. I'd bring you up blankets and pillows and you just have everything that you, you need. Peace. Sometimes I get the feeling that you're thinking I'm one of your stray animals. Now, is that right? You want to kiss me? I've got to get out of here, though. Well, Crease, just like that mountain cat, you had to let him go. Yeah, let him go. He just took off into the brush like that was all there was. I found him early next morning. A bear must have caught him. Because... I guess he just couldn't run that fast anymore. But he must have tried. Because he almost made it to the bar.
Oh, uh, not so much sugar, Mr. Lance. Here. Hey. Thank you. I know you'll understand, being a parent yourself. But I feel obliged to improve my poor girl's lot in life. I mean, here is this paragon of grace and modesty that's hid in a howling wilderness of... Exactly what is it you want, ma'am? Well, I must be reasonable. Uh, perhaps a quite substantial cash payment? Or maybe one of your fine boys would like to marry her. Or, or both. Or what? Well, they really do want your son very much, those other rough people, and they are quite well off. That's extortion. Oh, oh I know, but she's so pretty. <laughs> Here, please, I've got a picture of her. Okay. That's when we first moved to what? Oh, there I go again. <laughs> Frankly, I like my women a bit older. What would prevent me holding you hostage right here? Well, I would so enjoy that, sir. But I instructed my daughter that if I'm not home safe tomorrow, that she's just to go ahead and... Well, I don't like thinking about it. How much do you want? Well, I've already had an offer of $3,000 and her marriage to the best fixed young man thereabouts. Take it. Sir? Sounds like a good offer. You better take it. But I thought... I've already got one, son. I really don't need to. Oh, and, and, and Johnny is not worth the powder would take to blow him to kingdom come. He probably did commit murder. You mean you don't care? No. Oh, uh, Mr. Lancer, maybe we could dick her a little. I mean, I'd rather negotiate you. Not either. interested, ma'am. Good night. Well, I did believe I was dealing with gentlemen. First train leaves tomorrow at 10. You saw that photograph. Where was it taken? True. And the best fixed young man there is Tom Neville. One night's hard riding will get us there. You better wake up the men. Let's get going. So I figured that I had a little time off coming. Aren't you going to give me a kiss? Yeah. No. You know that I agreed to marry you, don't you? Hmm? That's nice, Tom. And that's all that you can say is that's nice, Tom. Well, I have to ask Mama about it. Well, now, Mama's always been just wild about it, as far as I know. Yeah, well, she isn't here now. Look in the mirror. You know where that boy is, don't you? Who? The murderer? No. Listen, if you was to find him, what would you do with him? I would make sure that he got a fair trial. <laughs> if they got to let him go, all he did was kill a Mexican. Do you mind kissing me again? Now you're talking. Finding out things. As a matter of fact, that was so good that you want me to do it again, don't you? Huh? 
Uh-huh. No. No, yes, wait a minute. Do. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, what? I want to talk to you about something. Oh. Well, it's yeah. something really important, and I want to talk to you about it. Come on, baby. Go on. Go on. Sure. What are you doing? Come on, give me a hand. Get the rabbit cage. What's going on? Everybody's going to be free. Come on, baby. I don't need them anymore. I've been studying things. Yeah, so have I, Lucretia, and I need a horse. That's what I figured. No. Go on, go on. And I found things out. Tom Neville's here. I don't like kissing him. Well, neither would I. No, I'm trying to tell you something. Well, go on, tell me. Well, I mean, I hasn't thought I was in love with him, you know? Yeah. That's because I never met anybody else. And now I have. I mean, you. Well, there'd be plenty of others yet. No. You're a pretty girl. Johnny. I mean, I guess I love you. Look, you said you never met anyone else. All right. I know I love you. Look, Chris, look, if I don't get out of here, I'm going to be dead. No, it's not true. No, I made a deal. A deal? What kind of deal? With Tom Neville. I promised that I'd give up the reward money and and he let you go free. The only trouble is I gotta tell Mama about it. Chris. Where is he? Well, he ought to be here in, in a minute or so. be doing too good in there. Can't complain. I never wants to make a deal. You surrender to us, we'll turn you over to Sheriff. Then what? You get together lynch mob? No, 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 no. You get a regular court trial. And how's Neville gonna stand that? <laughs> well, you won't be convicted, but you won't convict Tom Neville either. I'm sure gonna try. Oh, he's got all us to witness his favor. Never ain't too worried. I reckon you can trust me, Lancer. My word? I never had nothing against you personal. Well, you can just lay in there and die. That girl, too, maybe. I don't see the point. Tom Neville killed that man. That's nothing for a young girl to worry about. Listen, you give me the truth. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon you did, Miss Norman. But you know, you, 
He was just drunk. Oh, yeah, sure. Let go of her. That beaver ought to do right nice. Neville, you made a bargain. People call me Mr. Neville. Hey, you sent me out to talk for you. He gave up square. Well, I've reconsidered. Well, we ain't gonna hang no man like this. And you all move aside and I'll do it. No. Supposing we tell it on you. You men want to search for work come slack season? Stand aside. It don't concern you. We made a deal! Well? What do you say? Well, uh, I got nothing to do with it. Either one of you, now you just turn them loose right now. Just a girl. Yeah, but she's a girl that can shoot that gun, but her not can. Then gun her down. Gun her down? Them men ain't gonna stand for that. Either he hangs or you do. Now you just get in between. Honey? Uh? Just put your gun down. You mean lay it down here? You come on! You just turn around, and you cut him loose. Honey, look, all I'm asking for is just give us one minute. If they start something, we're in a bad position. I'm going in. Alone? No, I'll have the force and the majesty of the law. How about it, Sheriff? You want to spend the rest of your life on your knees? Let's go. Mr. Neville. Yes, Mom. Oh, 
Listen, Mr. Neville, please uh, don't you mind. The girl's just flighty. I mean, I've been thinking over your kind offer, and I... I... Tom? What, Tom? Neville? Well, you ain't ready for marriage. No, he's not. Mr. Lancer, I thought I left you back in... Oh, did you reconsider one of your boys for my girl? Uh, no, I, um... I'm afraid not, ma'am. Oh, I... I just planned so many things. I just plan and plan. I, I'm a helpless woman. Oh, Mr. Lancer, it's very hard being a, a good mother. Hey, uh, somebody mind getting this rope off my neck? <laughs> I declare, Mr. Lanza, I never heard the like of your humor, Sally Jones. Well, it's been a long time since I told that one. Oh, it must have been about a week or two. <laughs> Well, Murdoch, I, uh, I think we should get out riding. Oh, yes, we have to be moving along. But I'll send Johnny back next week to see about turning this into a working farm. I'm sure he won't mind visiting back. And you'll come, too. I want to feed you up right. Oh, you could have hardly fed us any better, ma'am. Oh, no, Mr. Lance, how you do go on? Not at all, Mrs. Normale. Uh, okay, call me Lorette. Lorette? Found one of your wild ones out by the road. I do believe you're mistaken. I'm not taking in any strays anymore. You say this one for me? I'll be back. I'll save the cage for you. 